For more than 35 years, Pierre has been building personal relationships with American artists. By listening to the desires and aspirations of artists, Pierre was the first to import Sennelier Extra Soft Pastels to the U.S. Pierre was one of the first supporters of IAPS and has been an outspoken proponent of pastel work being labeled as painting, evaluating its perception in the world of high art. Driven by the idea that art can change lives and perhaps change the world, his life's work is to share the joys of creativity and, of course, savoir-faire. My dear friend, Pierre. He's the man. This group has the most generosity, camaraderie, friendship, supportive, and it's thanks to your creativity, to the dynamic of the American soul that Pastel grew here. Sennelier, we opened the store in the 1880s and started to make the product. For many, the impression is we found an old set of pastel of Sennelier from 1900 that Jimmy went and I went with him to give it to the Met. And uh, Marjorie Shelley, a good friend of mine, the brilliance of the color, they look just as beautiful now as they would have been hundreds of years ago. There is nothing in them that oxidize and yellow. Basically, pastel is the most archival colors you can get in the arts. You can see that painting, it hasn't changed. After 300 years, pastel painting, they haven't changed. They haven't been restored. There's no varnish, nothing. And you can see them, they are still glowing. Marie Cassatt, of course. This is a set of Sennelier pastel that Degas offered to Marie Cassatt. And it's still there in the basement. And I was crying when I could see. I said, you know, all the people think of pastel as drawing and things. And Let's from now on call pastel, pastel painting. And ever since, I've always pushed pastel as a real painting, not a drawing. We made a commitment to one another. Let's together make pastel a recognized medium in America.